and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Last year between each of the seasons I came on here and did small hauls that included beauty, hair care, and clothing and you guys really seemed to like them so I figured I would continue doing them in 2022. So this is just going to be my beginning of spring small haul. I have a ton of different beauty items and then a few items of clothing and as always I will do my best to leave all the products mentioned in this video down below in case you guys are interested in purchasing any of them. And without further ado, let's get started. First, I'm going to start off with beauty things, and I will start with everything that I have gotten from Sephora. If you didn't know, Sephora does do product releases of certain products, and you can only get them online or on the app. So if you go in store and can't find some of the products that I have mentioned, definitely go ahead and check the app or online. The first product is a perfume. However, in the mail, it kind of leaked and exploded all over the packaging. So the packaging is just in a plastic bag. But this is by the brand The Seven Virtues and this is one of their newer scents. It is their Lotus Pear scent and let me tell you this smells amazing. It is like a fruity florally more mature scent and one that I have instantly fallen in love with. This one is just the rollerball one but they do have it in a full size version. And then the product that I'm probably the most excited about out of everything is this. For the simple fact that I was able to get my hands on this before it was even released because I am a member of Octoli. If you are a content creator it is just a website that you can get brand deals through and one of the most exciting ones for me was definitely this. It is just the one size turn up the base beauty blur bomb and for those of you who don't know this is a brand by Patrick Starr over on YouTube and let me tell you I'm absolutely in love with this product and my absolute favorite thing about this is the packaging. As you guys can see you would think it would be one of those ones where you twist off the cap and then open it up and squeeze it but this literally has a little push down spout on the top of the lid which is so convenient. I also went ahead and got the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and this one is just in the mini size and I actually haven't gotten around to using it but I've heard a ton of good things about it which is why I wanted to try it. I also got another mascara from Milk and this is in fact one of the online exclusives. This is just their brand new mascara. It is the Rise Mascara that is supposed to give you lift, length, and volume. When I first opened it I was really confused about the packaging. It has this like silicone sleeve on it. And I haven't figured out if it's actually supposed to be on there or not. Everything like dirt and hair seems to stick to it. So I may end up taking it off. My lashes do not hold a curl whatsoever. However, with this, they actually do. It has a really cool brush that I don't even know how to describe because it looks like it's just a simple brush that has a dip, but it also spirals. And I've also really been wanting to try a lip plumper lately because I do have a pretty flat lip. And everyone recommended the Too Faced Lip Injections. And then a few people recommended this one. So I decided to go with this one. This is just the Lawless Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask in Sweet Dreams. This is just what it looks like. It comes in one of the little pots. I love that it is a product that you put on before bed and you wake up and your lips have a little bit more fullness to them than they did before. It is not overly dramatic or anything like that. And then I also have three skincare related products from Sephora. The first is from Clinique and this is a product that I've shared on my channel before. This is just the Clinique 7 Day Scrub Cream and it is the Rinse Off Formula. I have featured this size here on my channel a bunch. When I went to Sephora, I picked this up and I was actually informed that there was a jumbo size. So I decided to go ahead and spend the money and get it. It was definitely more expensive than this one. However, this is one of my holy grail skincare products and one of the few products that actually cleared up my acne once and for all. So to me, it is worth spending the money on and I'm hoping it'll last me six to nine months. And then I also have two products from Skin Fix. The first one is just a face cream and this is the Skin Fix Barrier Plus triple lipid peptide cream and it just looks like this. I am absolutely in love with the packaging and I think it is genius. This is just what the top looks like and rather than having to scoop out the cream or squeeze it out of a tube to put it on your hands, you literally just push this white piece down and it dispenses the lotion up top and I found that that is the perfect dispensed amount. And lastly from Sephora, this is another Skin Fix product. This is just the Skin Fix Acne Plus 2% BHA Acne Spot Treatment that helps to clear acne. I like to put it on a q-tip and dab it where I need it and I've actually had this 
for a few weeks now and I've been using it a ton and absolutely love it. Moving on, I have four makeup products from the drugstore. The first one is from Milani and this is just their Make It Last setting powder and mine is in the shade Radiant and this was actually on sale so I decided to give it a go and I've actually been using this more as a highlighter than an all over face powder because it is pretty shimmery and I clearly was not paying attention when I picked the shade. And lastly for makeup products, I have three products from L'Oreal. These are just the L'Oreal Infallible Paints for your lips and I just got three different shades. The first one is part of the matte line and it is in the shade Velvet Pout and it is just like a really nudie purple color. And then I got two other really dark more fall colors and these ones are just the regular ones and I got the shade Sultry Sangria which is a really nice berry color as well as Bewitching Bordeaux which is a really nice burgundy. I was also sent a few jewelry products from a company called Be Kind and I will have a coupon code for you all to use down in the description box and Be Kind's mission is to help protect bee colonies all over the world and they do this by taking a portion of each of the purchases from their website and donate that money towards developing bee colonies and providing them with the best possible conditions and I absolutely love the mission behind what they are doing and I absolutely love their jewelry products. Something really neat is that this bubble mailer is actually 100% recyclable so if you do place an order with them make sure that you guys recycle the bubble mailer rather than just throwing it out. It is also such a cute bubble mailer in general. I also think that the boxes that the items come in are absolutely adorable. I love the added sunflower and we'll definitely be saving these for different things. The first product I have is just a ring. It is a really cute sunflower ring and to go along with it I also received this sunflower choker which again I think is adorable and I've been wearing a ton lately. And then lastly from them I got a pin and this is just what it looks like and I've actually been wearing this on my badge for work and they have a ton of other products so I highly recommend checking them out. And then lastly for my haul I do have three clothing items to share with you guys. The first one is a shirt from Marshalls and it just looks like this. It has three quarter length sleeves and it is just a nudie pink color with white stripes and it has a scoop neck and it is super duper soft and I absolutely love it. I fell in love with it when I tried it on and then I also got two items from Sierra Trading Post which is part of TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods as well. I just thought it was like outdoorsy stuff. I didn't realize that they had regular clothing and shoe sections like Marshalls and TJ Maxx do and I did find two items. The first one is another shirt and it just looks like this. It is like a reddish burgundy color with flowers on it and it is a tiered baby doll shirt. And then I also got a pair of what I think are pajama pants. I've actually been wearing them as sweatpants but they were in like a pajama section. They are just gray with white stripes. They have a drawstring. They have the cuff at the bottom like normal joggers and they also have pockets and they are super soft and comfortable. So that is just my beginning of a spring haul. I definitely had more beauty products than clothing products and I definitely need to go back out and find some more clothing. I am definitely in need of tops. If you guys liked this video and would like me to continue doing them throughout the year, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. While you guys are down there, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I upload new content regularly and would love if you'd become part of our little family. Also be sure to hit the bell so that you are in fact notified every time I do upload a new video. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!